Chelsea Sherrod here with our Nets and Patriots beat writer Zach Cox following the Patriots 10-3 to stunner here at Gillette Stadium over the Jets. And Zach, if this game couldn't get any crazier, Marcus Jones with an 84-yard punt return TD. That moment was crazy. What did you think when that was happening? And also, how big was that for the rookie? Yeah, it was a crazy finish to a, a pretty ugly and boring game. Yeah. Uh, honestly, yeah. neither of these offenses could do much of anything. The Patriots offense was a little bit more uh, productive than the Jets, which we'll get into yeah. in a moment. But 3-3 going into the final minute, it looked like this game was destined for overtime. And then, as you mentioned, Marcus Jones takes that, kick return, or that punt return back 84 yards for a touchdown. It, he's a really impressive talent in the return game. It seemed like something like this had been percolating with him for a couple weeks. We've seen a couple of impressive returns. Uh, he's gotten a lot of really positive reviews from, from some of his teammates. And then obviously this breakout comes at a perfect time for the Patriots. And it gives them really a much needed win, uh, even though there were uh, a lot of things that they'll need to correct from this game. Uh, the fact that they were able to win this game really puts them in a much, much, much stronger position in this playoff race, both in the AFC as a whole yeah. and in the AFC East. Yeah, coming into this game, we talked about how big it was, obviously, just because of the divisional race, but also just for team morale, coming off of the bye week, getting this win, and that was huge for Marcus Jones. And also his parents were in the stands, so I think that was great, too, just for some family morale. <laughs> um, we're going to get into the offense and what they need to work on moving forward, but let's talk about this defense that held the Jets to 103 yards of offense today. I mean, Dietrich Wise saying that they were completely dominant. What did you see from this defense today? Uh, I mean, I think Dietrich Wise was correct in that. This yeah. was a completely dominant performance. Uh, the the Jets really couldn't move the ball at all on offense, especially in the second half. They right. opened the second half with five straight three and outs, only had six first downs in the entire game, only 103 yards of total offense. Yeah. And uh, when you're reviewing some of these Patriots performances, you're saying, all right, yeah, well, it's the Jets and it's it's Zach Wilson. Uh, and Zach Wilson did not have a good game whatsoever right. today. Right. But this was a Jets team that just beat the Bills two weeks ago that entered this week at six and three. They're, they're not an offensive juggernaut by any means, yeah. but we're getting closer to closer to the point uh, where we have to start removing some of these caveats from the Patriots right. defense saying, right. yeah, they were great, but look at who they are playing. Yeah. They are going to face a lot of much tougher tests over the back half of the season, yeah. but this definitely looks like one of the best defenses in the NFL right now. Absolutely. And Matthew Judon, yeah. 13 and a half sacks this season now, a career high. I mean, he's been playing lights out yeah. for this defense. And he said today, he said, you know what, it's not me, it's my teammates. And I think that is the mindset that they have, and that's why this defense has been so dominant for the team. Yeah, and you've gotten a lot of uh, unselfishness from, from Matthew Judon, yeah. certainly in, in um, these, these press conferences and yeah. all of his dealings with the media. Uh, and on the field, he is that number one guy, but it has helped that the Patriots are getting more of a kind of well-rounded defensive performance, mm. uh, especially in the pass rush department, yeah. because last year, one of their real issues late in the season was Matthew Judon was, they were so reliant on him yep. as a pass rusher, so when he tailed off over those final couple of games, yep. the whole defense really just cratered. This year, uh, they're getting a, a much more kind of wide range of contributions from guys like Dietrich Wise. Uh, Mac Wilson had some impact plays today. Jawan Bentley was really impactful. Saw uh, Anthony Jennings in the backfield yep. on a couple of plays. And then obviously all of the players that the Patriots have in the secondary. This is a very deep and a very versatile Patriots defense. Yep. Uh, and I think it's allowing them to do some things that they weren't able to do last season. Absolutely. And speaking of contributions, you have the defense, but of course you need to score points. So let's talk about this offense. I mean, they moved the ball. Bill Belichick said that today after the game, Mac Jones also said that they had some movement, but there was a lack of production in the red zone. They just couldn't get points on the board. What do they need to do moving forward to kind of fix that? Yeah, something has to change. Yeah. Uh, this is not a sustainable uh, strategy and blueprint for the Patriots right now. They've yeah. won their last three games. They've been fantastic defensively. They've been right. very good on special teams. But they've scored two total offensive touchdowns across those three games, including zero today. Yeah. Uh, today was definitely a better offensive performance mm -hmm. than they had in that first Jets game, and especially against the Colts uh, right before the bye. They did move the ball well at times, uh, but you come away with a game, come out of a game with three points. Yeah. It's hard to feel too optimistic right. uh, about this offense, especially given the 
struggles that they had in those previous couple of weeks. It's a lot of uh, kind of self-inflicted errors. You, sure. you get poorly timed penalties. You get sacks uh, when you're right in that fringe area, which yeah. is an area uh, that Mac Jones talked about after the game, right outside of the red zone. is an area that really gave them a lot of problems. Uh, it doesn't help that they're probably going to be without two offensive linemen moving forward. Right. Uh, David Andrews, their center, and Isaiah Wynn, uh, who started today at left tackle, both of them left the game with injuries. And according to post-game reports, uh, at least pre pre preliminary post-game reports, both of them are expected to miss uh, substantial time here. So yeah. that is the last thing that the Patriots offensive yeah. line need, especially with a guy like David Andrews, who's such an important piece in there at the center of that offensive line. Sure. you got a short week coming up uh, with that Thanksgiving game. So you're almost certainly going to have a shorthanded offensive line uh, going into that game. And that's still the one big thing that the Patriots need to fix. They have not done so. It's been bad for three straight games. Uh, and if they can't fix that, it's hard to see them really improving that much offensively. Absolutely. And they're looking to turn the page, just like you mentioned, Thanksgiving Day, four days from now, they're taking on the Vikings, so a short week. They also have a Thursday night football game the following week but what does this win mean for them right now and moving forward is this a momentum builder for them what does this mean for the Patriots I think Matthew Slater put it well after the game he said it keeps us alive yeah. which is exactly what it does a loss in this game really would have been potentially disastrous for the Patriots right. playoff aspirations just with how competitive and how good overall the AFC East has been this year. The yeah. Patriots came into this game at 5-4. and four. They were above 500, but they were still last place in the AFC East. Yeah. Now they're up to third, pl or th up to third place. Rather, yep. They leapfrog the Jets, uh, and they're just one game behind both the Dolphins and the Bills yep. uh, as you enter kind of this home stretch here. Again, a lot of difficult games coming up for the Patriots and a lot yeah. of things they need to fix, especially yeah. offensively. But they, they kept themselves in the race, uh, and they're in a, a pretty positive position. We'll see how all the, the rest of these games shake out uh, here today and Monday night, but they will be in possession of a playoff spot still coming out of this game going into that Thursday night game up in Minnesota. For sure. And sometimes, you know, it takes like gutsy plays like Marcus Jones tonight to get to win the win for them. And I mean, a win is, is a win, right? Yeah. And against an divisional opponent is also just really great too. So, Zach, thank you so much for your insight. The Patriots 10-3 to win over the Jets in Week 11.